Welcome to Dr. Yat Van Ha's Problem Box. In today's lesson, we are going to solve a problem. Let's see what problem we have for today. The problem today is about Spikey. Spikey used small and large boxes to pack 128 cupcakes. Each small box holds 12 cupcakes. Each large box holds 20 cupcakes. All the boxes were full and there was no cupcakes left over. The question is, find the least number of boxes Spikey used. Here's the problem. The question is, find the least number of boxes Spikey used. That's our problem for today. Let's try. Have you managed to solve the problem? How far are you? in trying to solve the problem. There were 128 cupcakes. There are big boxes holding 20 cupcakes. And there were small boxes holding 12 cupcakes. What should we do? Should we guess and check? We can guess. Perhaps Spikey used so many of these boxes and so many of that boxes. And then we can check whether or not our guess is correct. Or should we start by packing the smaller boxes as much as we can and then use the large boxes afterwards or should we start by filling the large boxes as much as possible and then, whatever that's left, we use the small boxes. What should we do? Should we guess and check? Try some number of this, some number of that? Should we start packing using the small boxes? Or should we start packing using the large boxes. What should we do? Whatever we do, I would recommend that we make a list using a table. What's the answer? Someone thinks that we should start by packing the large boxes. Is that correct? Why should we do such a thing? Is it because we want to find the least number of boxes Spikey use? So we try to use as few boxes as possible. 
So we try to use the large boxes. First, how many of the 128 cupcakes can go into the large boxes? As many as possible. How many of the 128 can go into the large boxes? I think 120 can go into the large boxes. That means 8 would need to go into the small box. Is that a problem? There's no problem with the big boxes because I can use 6 large boxes to hold 120 cupcakes. But the leftover, 8, cannot happen because we know that there is no cupcakes left over. So perhaps this is not possible. Maybe I can use one large box less than what we are using now. Not 6 boxes but 5 large boxes holding 100 cupcakes that means we still have 28 cupcakes can 28 cupcakes go into the small boxes with no cupcakes left over it's not possible isn't it 24 would be possible but not 28 so I suppose I need to use one less of the large box. Perhaps only four large boxes to hold 80 cupcakes. And that means I have how many cupcakes left that hopefully I can use small boxes for they must add up to 128 that is right 48 would that solve the problem can 48 cupcakes go into the small boxes it's possible isn't it so what's the answer this way, we are going to use 4 of the big boxes to hold the 80 cupcakes and how many of the small boxes? 4 of the small boxes can hold the other 48 cupcakes. So in total, Spikey used a total of 4 small boxes and 4 large boxes. Spikey used 8 boxes. Did you find today's problem easy? Why don't you challenge yourself? One way to challenge ourselves is to ask another question. The question we have today is to find the least number of boxes that Spikey used. What if Spikey can use any number of boxes? It doesn't have to be the least number of boxes. What other combinations are possible. The answer we got today is four small boxes and four large boxes. What other combinations are possible? How many small boxes and how many large boxes are also possible? Remember, 
all the cupcakes are packed, the boxes are all full, and no cupcakes left over. Another way to challenge ourselves is to ask the question, the problem was solved using 128 cupcakes. So it is possible to solve that problem using 128 cupcakes. In other words, 128 cupcakes can be packed into those boxes. All the boxes are full and no cupcakes left over. What about other numbers? Say between 120 and 130. Could the problem also work with 121 cupcakes? What about 122 cupcakes? What about 123 cupcakes? What about 124 cupcakes? And so on. What if the number is not 128? You can also try it for numbers between, say, 500 and 510. That's another way to challenge ourselves. See you next time in another problem box.